It is 10 o'clock Eastern time and we have a new advisory from the National Hurricane Center just being posted. So we'll get you the latest on Tropical Storm Nicole. Still a tropical storm, but also we are seeing some changes at least in speed and intensity. Now, it does look like we have now 70 mile per hour sustained wind. So that's gone up a little bit from before. It was at 65 miles per hour there. And you're also noticing pressure. It's still at 984 millibars, but this is still, you know what, intensifying and strengthening and organizing. Now, one of the things we should notice is you can see that counterclockwise circulation around the center there. There's not a lot of convection, not a lot of thunderstorms circulating around the center of the storm. And we do have some dry air that's working its way in. Something one of the hurricane hunters that was above Nicole was telling us earlier. Either way, it's still expected to intensify and continue to move towards Florida. And notice you have the Bahamas that are going to be impacted first, where we do have those hurricane warnings, at least on the northern side of the Bahamas. And we also have some hurricane warnings. Nick will talk about this in a moment for the uh, Treasure Coast part of Florida into the Space Coast. So here's a look. It is still a tropical storm, but it is still expected for the National Hurricane Center to become a Category 1 just barely. Hurricane. Either way, whether it stays tropical storm or hurricane, the impacts are going to be the same. This is a very large system, so the impact to much of Florida will be, well, very widespread. This is a look uh, at the hurricane warnings that we're looking at. Mentioned the Bahamas. Here's a look at the warnings where we do have some evacuations in place. And uh, you'll notice the tropical storm warnings extend a little bit further to the west, encompassing right there southeast Georgia. And then you have the tropical storm watches extending into Charleston and including the Gulf side, the western coast of Florida, in through the Big Bend. And one of the reasons why I'll show you, when we look at the track, we're looking at a pivot to go across and eventually up. One of the reasons being is that you have high pressure here, and that's going to be shifting off to the east. You have a front coming in here. So complements of the jet in the front, everything really accelerating out. So the timing is Friday into, excuse me, Wednesday into Thursday is when we're looking at impact. Notice the winds just barely making that hurricane strength uh, for tomorrow. And it looks like that may be achieved by tomorrow afternoon. And then as it makes landfall and continues into the Gulf, looks like potentially, and then back up into the Northeast, you get this onshore push of wind, the same sort of onshore push that you're going to get right there. So that's why we have some storm surge concerns. And by Friday into Saturday, it's working into the Northeast. But this thing is moving fast, so it's going to be out of everybody's hair by the time we end Saturday. Here's a look at the storm pressure timeline, and you'll notice from Monday and through Tuesday, uh, it's varied a little bit. This is where we are now, but it's the decrease shows that it's strengthening. And because it's organized and more organized than it was when it was subtropical, and you had displacement from the center of the storm in the main area of convection, it's a little bit more aligned, and that's why we saw it graduate to tropical storm earlier today. This shows you with the storm wind timeline how this is also really picked up since yesterday morning. So in the past 30 hours or so, or no, wait, Tuesday, today's Tuesday, pardon me. So since earlier today in the past 12 hours, it's jumped to now 70 miles per hour. So that's why we're looking at tropical storm force winds that will be felt, but also that potential for hurricane strength winds and wind gusts. So the time to prepare. Definitely tomorrow morning, these areas right here. And if you are under a hurricane warning, because we have evacuations, check with your local emergency management, your county, your city, to see if you have evacuations, if you have shelters, which those shelters generally go hand in hand with evacuations, and what the plan is, Nick. But a lot of things now, as we're now, clock is ticking and we're getting down to the wire here. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.